Charges are expected today against two teenagers in connection with the violence at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Our Charlie DeMar spoke with the family of Lisa Lopez Galvan, the woman who died in that shooting. While police pour over videos like these for evidence, families in Kansas City want to know how a Super Bowl celebration became the site of yet another mass casualty shooting in America. Lisa Lopez Galvan was there with several family members. Lisa was the life of the party. The local radio personality was celebrating the Chiefs championship win when she was shot and killed. We spoke yesterday with her brother and sister. There's an initial shock and uh, it feels like a bad dream. The mother's adult son was also shot but expected to survive. They took away his mother, his best friend. She did everything for them. Half of the victims are under 16, the youngest just eight years old. We all train for this. We're all prepared to take care of these children, but it doesn't negate the fact that it's still not normal for people to see many, many people wounded by gunshots. Police are tight lipped about the two suspects still in custody. Video shows one person with a gun being tackled. Two men, including Trey Filter, were thanked by police. The entire time we were holding him down, people are yelling, he's got a gun, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. When he was tackled, the gun fell, and um, she, she secured the weapon. That weapon appears to be a large semi-automatic rifle. In a major increase this past decade, 60% of mass shootings occur in everyday places churches, theaters, grocery stores, or at celebrations like the parade in Kansas City. She was just really happy to be there. We did not expect the day to end like this. And as city leaders and families discuss and determine whether these outdoor large gatherings are safe to attend, the mayor here in Kansas City vowing to move forward and host next month's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Kansas City, Missouri.